Hey everyone, welcome to another Slime Funfield episode with your host Boomer. Today we are talking eco power. And I've been working in this in a guide for a while, trying to figure all this out. This is for me, it's the very last one. I've been working on a steam turbine and I've been working on a wind turbine. And I've discovered it was a lot harder than it should be considering how little power they generate. What I mean is trying to get it to work. I don't know if it's um, something wrong with me or if it's slime fun or I'm just missing something. I know this plugin's only been out since about August. So I realize most servers probably don't have it, but I know there's a couple people that commented on it. And if you've been able to figure this out better than I have, please let me know because the official wiki has absolutely uh, no information whatsoever. So it is a considered a multi-block build. In other words, it's a real-world build. Okay, so you put the turbine above a bubble column over magma blocks. Now, just so in case anybody does want to know, I did try this with two and even three blocks of water in between. And the same thing that you're about to see that happened to me is going to happen again. So we've got the wind turbine there. We, know, we do need an energy network connected first. You'll do, you can see it does recognize that this item is capable of, of producing energy. However, it is not producing at the moment. Therefore, it's reading zero. It has no buffer, so it's not going to store anything. So the moment I put this down, we should see energy uh, production. We got four joules and the water disappeared. Let's try that again. No matter what I do, no matter, and, and the, this can only be placed this way. Every time I've tried to place it a different way, whether facing any of the directions, trying to go up, trying to go down, you know, from here, okay, it does the same thing. It places, whoops, it places it sky high. If I try to go this way to get it to come down, it does the same thing, does it face up. So it doesn't matter which way this block faces, it comes out the same way. So there's nothing you can do to place it any differently. So every time I keep trying this, the water is going to disappear. That almost seems illogical, and I, I guess I wouldn't understand why that would be in the game. So we're going to show you the only solution I was able to come up with which was to put this over a source block. Why did I take that? I don't know. And you can see it is generating power only though at half the rate that it's supposed to. I haven't figured out how to keep it going any faster than that. Uh, so if anybody has figured it out, this would be the one time I would ask you to please tell me how it actually goes. I get some people that comment and say, no, it doesn't work like this. It works like that right after I've recorded the video or we've pulled the sign fund guide out and somebody says, no, you need, you know, so many more of these things. And the guide says, this is, look, I go by what's off the guide. Uh, a lot of these plugins and devs are very actively updating and changing and restructuring as they go. So it's possible on the server that you play on, that may be it. But what you see in my video, these are the most update, up to date versions on the plugins that I'm showing you. So, what you're seeing is currently what it is as of today, even though your server may not have updated. So if somebody can help me find a solution to this, I'd love to know because if this is how the plugin works, this part of the plugin, it doesn't make any sense to run it. Uh, to do exactly as it says, shuts the power off. So I'm going to reach out to the Busy Biscuit. He's the listed developer of the plugin. See what he can tell us about it. The other one I wanted to look at right away in here was a wind turbine. Uh, and this one had a similar reaction and took a little while to figure out what was going on. I need this real quick. So let's go ahead and place the wind turbine now. Now we'll pull it up in the guide first. This one I did figure out. So to create the uh, simple wind turbine generator, we need a turbine placed over two oak fences. So if I place down the oak fences, one thing about the turbine is that it will face the direction you place it on. Now we need an energy regulator to get it to work, right? So, okay, clearly it's connected. It recognizes this can produce power, 
but it's not producing there. So I've actually gone around all four sides and it didn't work. To get this sucker to work, come on, I actually had to put it up top and then it kicked into gear. So if I were to stick a capacitor next to it, I'd start storing up some power. Because <clears throat> apparently the wind could affect, you know, how this thing blows. The water turbine, on the other hand, can only be placed that one way. So it's pulling the steam from the bottom up through the top of the turbine. And I actually did try putting the energy regulator below the magma block just to see if that would work. Uh, and it did not change the results, the water still disappeared. It's supposed to grab the steam, so I'm not quite sure what's happening. But this is how this one works. And again, you can turn this, you know, really any which way that you like. I don't know if I'm going to hit this right. Let me just do this. I'll go up on a block. So again, you can have it face any way you want and generate power. But for whatever reason, that can only be faced one way, which makes sense because if it's going to pull, you know, the, the water as the steam is its power, that it would have to pull up from that direction. Now, again, it doesn't give any information, but it clearly shows the steam turbine has to be over the water. Because if you put water below a magma block, well, the water doesn't change, right? Not to mention, I can't get in there right now. Um, but there's no apparent change to the water. It's not going to force anything down. It only works going above it. So the water has to be below it right there. But it keeps taking it away. So like I said, you know, this was the best recourse that we had was to put it over a 2x2 two two or a 3x1 water source. So I was going to check it out with the debug fish. Nothing I can see is showing any issue. So I don't know what's going on. So I will reach out and get back to you. Hi, dude if uh, I do get an update from the dev on that. But that's pretty much uh, those two in a nutshell. I was looking at some of these other ones, and I guess until we can confirm, I mean, I'm not going to build any of them at the moment. I'm going to briefly talk about these lunar, uh, the lunar, the high energy, and the radiant generators. Oops, here we go. Solar generator, solar, solar. So a lunar generator is capable of producing only at night, and it runs the same amount of power as an energized one does during the day. So to build this, just to build this, is a losing battle. Because nuclear runs 24-7, our other advanced solar panel we made runs 24-7. This one runs only at night. So the daytime, I get no power. With this, I get full power during the day and half at night. So to use one of those, plus a carbon auto, plus a blistering ingot to make one, if that's where I was going to stop, would be a complete waste of, of time and energy. However, you do need that one to go to the high energy one. Because you're going to need a lunar, a couple advanced, here we go, more carbon auto, more blistering. So for 512 joules per second, this is great because it runs all day and all night. So it's the equivalent of two energized solar generators during the day or four at night. So from that standpoint, it makes sense to upgrade. But to stay at just the lunar is a waste of energy and resources. But to upgrade to this one is not a bad solution at all. And it's not that much more. You know, again, a two carbon auto, the two blistering gets are really four carbon autos and another star. So, I mean, it's expensive, but it's probably cheaper than building, and well, it is, it's cheaper than building another daylight or an energized solar generator. To get to the end one, which doubles up again as a radiant, so you're going to make two more lunar generators, plus that high energy one, plus a couple of reinforced plates. So, it's still probably cheaper than making four energized solar generators, 
but it is going to be expensive no matter what and it is nighttime and this guy is not being a nice friendly neighbor I told you be nice so that's kind of where the generators are so that lunar one don't build it just to build the lunar build it because you're gonna move beyond that uh, and get the further generating power from those man I'm telling you the neighbors don't know when to stop their parties this guy was up till 3 a.m. last night drinking and shouting and man, he woke up the kids I'm, I'm telling you these guys just don't know when to quit um, so the other thing that we could look at in here and I'm not gonna build it now is the solar helmet so it's exactly like the other helmets work if you've got anything on you that you're wearing or holding that can be charged in like a charging bench it will shoot five joules for every charge to try to recharge it so it's a nice little you know a nice little add-in but we got to figure out why this doesn't work uh, when I put the energy regulator back there or why this doesn't work because again I mean unless I'm really missing something that's exactly how the book says to build it so I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to the busy biscuit real quick I'm gonna get this out to you guys um, hopefully the, the the people that were asking about it can at least see this and maybe you know maybe you've got some insight so this is where I'm reaching out to the community to say help us uh, unfortunately there's nothing on a wiki so hopefully somebody has figured out how this works and I'd like to make sure that you get the credit for it so please if you can tell us how that should have worked you've you've got something solid that you can share with the community please post it in the comments below I thank you guys for watching I appreciate it we love you we'll see you later and by the way don't forget when you play Minecraft you have to go boomer or you have to go home we'll see you later Quit coming over here at 2 in the morning, drinking a beer, and leaving that mess in the yard. I'm telling you.